To up focus, let's take you now to battleground Madhya Pradesh. The BJP is gearing up to put up a tough fight against the Congress in the pole-bound Madhya Pradesh. While the Saffron Party rolled out its top heavyweights, uh, three sitting cabinet ministers, seven MPs for its poll fight. Amongst these stalwarts is also BJP leader Kailash Vijayvargya, who's not too happy about being given a ticket. One of the reasons could very well be because he's been given a ticket while his own son's ticket has been cut from the same constituency. Mind you, last year it was his son who had fought elections from Indore 1 on which now he's been given a ticket. Just a day after it was announced that Vijay Varge has been fielded to fight from the key constituency of Indore 1, the BJP leader appears to be very, very unhappy. Vijay Varge not only expressed dismay over the BJP ticket, but also stated that uh, he no longer has any zeal to contest elections. अंदर से खुश नहीं सच कह रहा हूं इसलिए कि मेरी लड़ने की इच्छा ही नहीं एक तब एक परसेंट भी इच्छा नहीं एक माइंडसेट होता है ना लड़ने का अपने को तो जाना भाषण अब बड़े नेता हो गए अब हाथ हाथ जोड़ने का जाते तो भाषण देना और निकल जाना भाषण देना और निकल जाना ये सोचा था हमने तो हमने तो प्लान ये बनाया था कि रोज आठ सभा करनी है पांच हेलीकॉप्टर से और तीन कार से पर आप जो सोचते वो होता क्या भगवान की जो इच्छा होती वही होता है मोदी जी घबराए हुए हैं हमेशा जी घबराए हुए हैं और मैंने आज मुझे कुछ लोगों ने फोन किया कि वो प्रयोग जो गुजरात में किया था कि सारे मिनिस्टर सबके टिकट काट दिए वो यहाँ भी प्रयोग हो सकता है जनता मन बना चुकी है कांग्रेस के पक्ष में लहर है मैं तुम्हारा भैया ये सब नाटक नौटंग की है इन्होंने ना भाई की मदद की ना बहना की मदद की Let's cut across right now immediately to my colleague Himendra Sharma who's joining us live from Bhopal. Uh, Himendra, we are going to just come to you, but let's once again listen in to Kailash Vijay Varge. You know, what's really bizarre, viewers, is that in every election, uh, people fight for tickets. Uh, you know, it's, it's a hard-fraught battle. They wait, uh, uh, you know, to get a ticket, especially from the Bharatiya Janata Party or uh, any ruling party in a state. And Kailash Vijay Varge says he's too senior and now he really has no zeal to fight. Listen in to what Kailash Vijay Varghia said and we are going to cut across back to my colleague Himendra. अंदर से खुश नहीं सच कह रहा हूँ इसलिए कि मेरी लड़ने की इच्छा ही नहीं एक तब एक परसेंट भी इच्छा नहीं एक माइंडसेट होता है ना लड़ने का अपने को तो जाना भाषण अब बड़े नेता हो गए अब हाथ हाथ जोड़ने का जाएगी तो भाषण देना और निकल जाना भाषण देना और निकल जाना ये सोचा था हमने तो हमने तो प्लान ये बनाया था कि रोज आठ सभा करनी है पांच हेलीकॉप्टर से और तीन कार से पर आप जो सोचते वो होता क्या भगवान की जो इच्छा होती वही होता है वेरी रेयरली हिमेंद्र डू यू एक्चुअली हियर अ कैंडिडेट हुज बिन गिवन अ टिकेट Usually there's a sense of celebration, but uh, it seems Kailash Vijay Varghe A thinks he's way too senior to fight a Vidhan Sabha election. He is General Secretary Bharatiya Janata Party. Does it also stem from the fact, uh, Himendra, because in an ironic fashion, it's his own son whose ticket has been cut from Indore 1, who fought last time around, and this time given to Kailash Vijay Varghe. Well, his son is from uh, seat number three in Indore. Uh, that is one issue. But more than that, I think it's uh, the element of surprise. These top leaders of Madhya Pradesh, BJP, including Kalash Vijayavargi, Naren Singh Tomar, and even Prahlad Patel. Uh, Naren Singh Tomar, Prahlad Patel, these are ministers in the union cabinet. They were taken by surprise by the BJP's decision. In fact, when this second list was announced on Monday, that very day they were on stage with Prime Minister Narendra Modi, but they had no idea about it. Naren Singh Modi, to tell you that... <clears throat> Naren Singh Tomar uh, in the evening was at a television program when this news was broken to him and he was dazed. And Naren Singh Tomar after that for the next 24 hours didn't speak with anyone. He's normally a very quiet and calm politician who re reacts to every question. Anything that is asked from him, he normally uh, take that question and then think over it and then react. But he didn't react for at least a day and a half. Kalash Vijayavargya perhaps is speaking his heart out. These top 
leaders of Madhya Pradesh. This is, in a sense, a strategy for a war in which the general doesn't know that he has to go for war the next day. That's what has happened with these top leaders. Right. More than uh, being happy, they are surprised by the fact that they've been... And the, the question is that if they win, out of all these top leaders, if they win, only one is going to be the chief minister. But the most important question amongst these top BJP leaders who have been asked to contest the assembly elections is that what if they lose the election? All these seats that they have been given, Indore 1 is not a very easy, it's not a cakewalk. He has to fight with a money bag of the Congress party. Manoj Shokla, he's a money bag of the Congress party. And Dimri seat of Narendra Singh Tomar, that's again with the Congress party. Right. Riti Patak uh, in uh, uh, Sidi, uh, Kedar Shokla is questioning her candidature. He's said that he's going to uh, come out with this strategy within the next one month, uh, 15 days. So there is a lot of confusion amongst these leaders' minds. They are mindful of the fact that if they lose this election, Vidhan Sabha election, those who have been union cabinet ministers, it could well be the end of the road for them. Well, it could end be the, well be the end of the road for them, and it's also a very smart way of uh, testing the caliber of your heavyweights, uh, exactly how heavy they are politically by making them fight a Vidhan Sabha election less than six months before or four or five months before the general election, whether they are fit even to fight the Lok Sabha election. Mind you, seven sitting MPs have been fielded in the Vidhan Sabha, three cabinet ministers. Uh, very, very interesting uh, play by the Bharatiya Janata Party, but not taken very well by at least the sitting MPs as well as the cabinet ministers. With that, Himendra, appreciate you joining us.